guys control your own destiny now for the, the four seed. Uh, Detroit lost tonight. Just sort of kind of your take on that and just sort of moving forward here. Um, the, the Dallas Stars are really good tonight. And um, you know, from, from that standpoint, I, I thought that you know, they had a lot of urgency in their game. So uh, we responded pretty good. Um, you know, I, I thought as the game got really urgent, especially in the third period, I thought we, we did a really good job there. How much did your first goal sort of open them up at that point? Well, you know, when you're one nothing, you know, we've been there a couple of years ago where you get the first goal, um, and, and you know, you know your, your season's on the line, and they, you know they had to play with a little bit of risk. They had to come hard, and we were able to you know sort of counter, and then you know Patrick Horn, Hornquist, like he always does, sort of gets one of those those hard hard goals that came in and, and buried it. And, you know, we always make it hard on ourselves with the, uh, with the with the penalty kill at the end, and uh, you know, so you know, getting the win uh, was good. Uh, the answer to the first question, um, they, you know, really we didn't know much about the. I didn't know the score in Detroit. Uh, we were just worried about winning the game and see if it could, we could put it back in our in our court. And uh, we knew that they had a. As a coach, obviously, we knew they had a real hard game with St. Louis, and we we're just hoping that uh, New Jersey would. Would do us the honors of giving us a, a chance to be at home ice, so we've got to we're going there and see if we can get it. But Frankie had a good game defensively uh, before he scored. Does that, yeah. that kind of spurred his game on? If you yeah, well, I, I think uh, you know both the, Frankie and Kleiner. I thought were, were were pretty solid. They're both are moving their feet. It's when they're not moving their feet and letting letting everybody really converge on them is when they get in trouble. And I thought. They're both are moving their feet, and uh, Frankie's been real hot lately. He's got three goals in like six games here, and you know he picked up a, a puck off the uh, uh, from pass from behind the net, and uh, you know bang was in the net there. So uh, real, real, you know as, as we always say, Frankie's one of the favorite guys. So when he scores, it's always a, uh, a solid, 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 uh, joyous, joyous type of bench. When, what do you attribute? I mean, he goes 80 some games without a goal, and now he's got four here in the last couple of weeks. I mean, what, to what do you attribute that? I don't know. I don't know. Just uh, you know, he's he's jumping at the right time, uh, just showing his, his veteran presence, and, and uh, I know he doesn't have a concussion, so he doesn't think he's Ray Ray Bork or or anybody <laughs> like that. So I, I just think he's just that's the veteran uh, smarts that he has. You've only allowed one goal in the last two games. You feel like your defense is where you want it to be. Well, it's it's better. It's better. I think you, you got to get comfortable uh, playing in in in, uh, in those real tight games, and uh, you know those those games help. So yeah, we'll take it. Pekka steps right back in. Doesn't look like he uh, missed any beat whatsoever. Yeah, Pex was really good. I was just worried about maybe. Uh, you know, anytime he gets sick and, and, and the way he was, it, it can really drain you. But he uh, responded pretty good. Gostad and Gill had a couple of big blocks in that last shift on Sure. I mean, that guy's got a pretty hard shot. You know, that, that's that's the commitment you need. I mean, you know, there, there's no concern of, you know, hey, you know, I don't want to get hurt before the playoffs. This is this is important. Um, you know, you got to do what's right. And both of them, you know, Sure, they're trying to set them up. And, and uh, screen pecks and, and shoot pucks, and they were they were in those shot lanes, and you know a lot of guys can conveniently not get in those shot lanes, and they, they were making sure that they were in those shot lanes. So um, you know you talk about one of the reasons why you you, you want to get a like Austin and Gill at, at the trade deadline. And, um, those are two examples. You, uh, you switch the line slightly to start third period, uh, the, the thought was that there was a, there was I, we needed to play a little more straight line, and uh, the way Dallas was playing, you just had to play straight line. And we, I thought the uh, the leg one uh, line was playing too east west, and and uh, we needed to work. He's just a little more of a straight line guy, so we just tried to give him a little balance, and, and he gets in on the forecheck. And it's not a slam on on anybody. You know, I just flipped uh, Andre and and and, Borky and you know, it just just to even that out, and I thought Andre was really good with with Hornquist and, and Spalding. They were real good too. And you know, uh, Patrick's a, a straight line guy, and Spall's more a straight line guy. And I thought uh, Andre's strengths when he gets that is a big, powerful, powerful man, big that, that powerful forward uh, position. He 
that line was good, so it was it was a, a, a good switch um, from that standpoint. Um, and I tried to save a couple guys a little bit, guys like uh, Marty Erat, you know, who's, who's been tremendous for us all year. Uh, he's played a lot of hockey. I, I, I think yeah, we've given him some 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 tough minutes, and same as Sergey Kostich and, and, and Fish. So I tried to bring those minutes down a little bit today to see if we could. Save them a little bit. I just did look a little tired the last uh, down the stretch a little bit. So I've been riding them hard. They've been playing great for us all year. So uh, just trying to do that. And I thought uh, uh, Brandon Depp had a real solid game for us. I thought he was pretty solid. So uh, you know, and that he sort of moved around a little bit. So yeah, it was uh, it was good. I thought our, our defense pairs were, were pretty solid. Gostad really picked up the uh, faceoff. Percentage yeah, well, that's, here. What he, that's what he does. I mean, Goose is uh, he's uh, 57 percent on the right side, 57 percent on the left side, and you know, that's that's his 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 go-to card, if you will. So he's good. That's uh, it's a great uh, great ad for us. Take care.